So now in this video, we're gonna look at this circuit tree here. So we've gone over this circuit tree, but uh, in different parts. Now we're combining them together. We have a light dependent resistor. You could also call it a photo resistor, wired as a voltage divider. The other resistor dividing the voltage is a fixed value resistor. So we'll come to that in a little bit. But in any case, with the light dependent resistor, when enough light is falling on it, like it is now, it's pulling the voltage at the base down enough to keep the transistor off. When I cover it, you can see we got some glow there. It's not uh, on as good as it could. If I cover the uh, light dependent resistor with this alligator clip cover, now it's completely dark on there. That's about as good as it can duct. What it is really doing though, it's setting a voltage to the base of the transistor. As we increase resistance, the voltage goes up because it's making a better connection to the positive supply. Ultimately, the uh, voltage that we have at the input, it gets transferred to the voltage out here at the emitter, but we do lose about 0.6 volts because there's that base to emitter diode drop that uh, is uh, in every NPN bipolar junction transistor. And so we got uh, that voltage drop there, and so it does go down about 0.6 volts, but otherwise it's transferring the voltage, just 0.6 volts lower. And uh, so we got the uh, voltage at the emitter, barely no current, practically no current I should say, has to uh, come from the signal as long as we have the collector connected to the positive side of the power supply right there. That's because as a trickle of current flows through base to emitter, a lot more current is allowed to flow through from collector to emitter. So ultimately it's the current from collector emitter that holds the uh, voltage there. So it doesn't throw off the signal voltage and uh, powers the load. So, this resistor, you may get away without it, but it helps to make sure that voltage gets held right there, the voltage in minus 0.6 volts. So it's a good idea to use that 10 kilo ohm resistor there. 10 kilo ohms is working pretty good. You can adjust uh, that to adjust the uh, sensitivity. And then 220 ohms is enough resistance to protect the LED from uh, 5 volts. Higher voltages, you'd probably want to go with the higher value resistor. And now we'll take a closer look at the uh, circuitry on the breadboard. There you can see I can get it dark enough with my finger with the light the way it is and uh, the overhead light too. It's uh, not bright at all. And uh, But if you really want to get it completely dark other than completely turn off the lights, you can just cover it and uh, make sure you cover this hole though with the alligator clip. But in any case, here you can see on uh, the schematic, the uh, voltage divider, there it is closer. 10 kilo ohm resistor to the positive rail coming to the base and then the uh, light dependent resistor also coming to the base but then going to the negative rail ground since this is a single supply right there the transistor collector is directly to the positive supply so we already looked at the uh, voltage divider there so a five volts we consider that five volts there and that's to the collector of the top pin because the flat side is to the right the emitter comes to the uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor you can see that right there and then it also comes to the load, as we mentioned before. Again, 220 ohm resistors because we're dealing potentially with uh, 5 volts. And uh, coming to the long lead, the anode of the LED, right there you got to make sure you put the LED in the right way or it won't light up. 5 volts is not enough to uh, damage it. In my case, the shorter lead is uh, coming down to the uh, cathode here, is coming down to the gray jumper, going to ground. And there is the pin layout for the 2N3904. And as always, if it's a bipolar junction transistor and it starts with 2N, it probably has this pin layout. All the ones that I've come across have this pin layout where you're looking at the flat side emitter to the left, base to the middle, collector to the right. So in any case, we've gone into these topics in more detail before in earlier videos. So I'm gonna keep this one short. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting to the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. I have links down in the description. But uh, just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks to everybody that watches the videos. I will see you in the next video. 